there's more in here. Look. Crazy spice and crazy seasoning, and um, you know, we're just gonna kind of kick back. We got a couple of beers over here, uh, a little cheese, and uh, it's just time for a little bit of family fun, a little weekend getaway, and a little bit of relaxation. So, uh, you know, nice of you guys to join us, and uh, we'll keep you posted as the night goes on because we plan to really have a good time, as you can see. And what's the name of your channel? I'm True Jet. Uh, yeah, Drew Jen is the channel. Check me out. I do a variety of things, you know, a little of this and that. I try to branch out and just kind of experiment. Just basic things that people do uh, in life. And, uh, you know, and, and, and hope somebody will learn from it and uh, enjoy it at the same time. So, you know, this is just kind of a weekend where we get away and we just going to ride it out. Drew Jen and Cheetah Cooks. Yes, and imagine that. You actually see her face. This is my little sister here. Kim <laughs> hanging out with us. And this is here, the Jen 2x Drew. <laughs> Bing! Hi, there she is, folks. Camera shot, but it's all right. But, um, and then uh, early in the morning, we're going to do a little kayaking or out on the lake. And, uh, you know, we'll see what happens. We'll take you along as each of us into the kayak and see which one's fall. See. Who falls into the drink That's first? Not nice. <laughs> <laughs> so you know, that's how we do it and uh we'll see how it goes. Yeah, we'll wrap it up and uh you know, we can force it. Got some peanuts, so we're gonna roast those up. I've never roasted peanuts in my life, but my grandfather used to do it all the time and God bless his soul, but he used to burn the peanuts all the time. Alright now. <laughs> Tonight he's coming for you. <laughs> Lying beside you with a bag of peanuts in his hand. <laughs> yeah, so uh, yeah, we do like So uh, yeah, so this is how we do it. And uh, you know, we'll keep it rolling and uh, we'll come back. We'll let you know what happens as the night falls. Yes. Oh yeah, you gotta check that out. Little wasabi avocados. avocados. Those are the little the milk abs. of the puppy. Yeah, the milk of the puppy. <laughs> there we go. We're gonna go ahead and chop these off with the seasoning. And this stuff is um, this is uh, it's loaded. I mean, I can see everything inside of it. It's got some. Uh, I mean, everything. I can smell and the And guys, bed. this is local. In Maryland, different cities and different places and different counties have their own variety of spice. So this is a mixture of spices that's local and indigenous to where we are here in Solomon Island. And I mean, you can't be... A lot of people use Old Bay to make their crabs, but we in Maryland do not use Old Bay. We use a spice blend. Oh, oh absolutely. I mean, folks, if you've never had any crabs, um, I mean, you got to get in there. And, 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 and live crabs, yeah, are the, are the, are the best. Ooh. you got to try live crabs sometime. And don't be afraid of me. They're going to fight. They're crabs. Crabs are crabby. Absolutely. You heard the question, you know. <laughs> you get a little crabby yourself out there, so... Especially hey. if you're being put in a pot with a, a, yeah. a spice blend on you All and beer and vinegar. And people laughing and smiling and having fun around you. <laughs> While you're in a pot. Yeah, <laughs> not good. 
And I mean, we're not gonna stop there, as you can see, this bag here. And this is a trash is, bag, guys, so you can see this is local. Yeah, freshly absolutely. Caught crabs. Maryland, Maryland Blues. This is the best crab on the planet, folks. Maryland Blue. The sweetest by far. Uh -huh. That's better than your open crabs, your king crabs, your Russian king crabs. The Dungeness. Uh -huh. This is it. And nobody puts it down like the local people of Maryland, folks. This is just, uh, this is just this is how good. we do it. Um, before I did this, I actually put some beer in there. Um, I put about two, just two 12 ounces. It wasn't Heineken, that was actually a bourbon ale, which is um, it's probably gonna add just a little more flavor than a basic, just everyday run of the mill beer. We used to use like basic beer, uh -huh. but you can, like a Natty yeah. Bow, which is indigenous to Walt. Natty Bow, <laughs> so yeah. Go with Natty the Natty Bow. <laughs> Now he's getting it with a little upscale. <laughs> Got a few dollars and he's using a bourbon ale. <laughs> uh, uh, that's a nice Pabst Blue Ribbon or, yes. you know, anything. Absolutely. And don't forget the vinegar. Uh -huh. Don't forget that vinegar. No water at all. Beer and vinegar. And equal parts of both. Equal parts of both. Or, um, in fact, you know, this is uh, a 16 ounce vinegar. And I only used uh, about two-thirds of it and um and to two beers so the vinegar is always going to overpower the beer a little bit and as you can see he's layering the spice you put a layer of crabs a layer of spice layer yes. of crabs layer of spice Absolutely. and as you can see they're crabby yeah and as you can Crab see i have crabby. no aim. there's no aim. You don't see <laughs> there's no gloves with, yeah with gloves <laughs> or tongs no i have been here before <laughs> and I will be here again. He's a cancer, guys. <laughs> yes. That's right. And this is one pack of seasoning here. And um, I think this is a six ounce pack of seasoning here. And I've already got a hearty dozen and a half. Come on, I haven't even cracked all of the, uh, the bag. So here we are. We got, um, boy, it's going to be interesting to see if I can get all of these in here. And as you pile them on, you know, they'll find their place in the mix. They'll kind of snuggle. And they'll give you space that you, you may not know you had. You can see it's grabbing at them. Uh -huh. it's trying yep. to... <laughs> but as you can see, you see these crazy videos where the crabs are all over the floor and people are screaming and yelling and uh -huh. all that. No, that's not realistic. This is just how it goes. The These crabs are people are, who don't know their yes, way around exactly. a crab, or just yeah, acting out for the camera. It. Exactly. Oh. The video. Is Nobody's screaming. Crabs are not jumping all over the floor. Uh -huh. the people screaming and hollering. Oh. Yeah. And you yeah. see, yeah. and as you get the down to the last few sick. crabs, they get even more and more aggressive because they they've seen what happened to their buddies, <laughs> and they're just ready for it. So bam. I'm gonna hold him down, I'm gonna hold him down, and, and then whoa. And I think I'm gonna find room. For one more, right? Yeah. You only have one more. And I mean, this set him is down. really ready to roll. That one's ready to fight. Uh -huh. And I see a nice spot right there. So I'm just gonna tuck him in, I'm gonna hold him down. And that's what you do. And this is Mel's crab spice, as you can yes. see, like I said, Crab spices usually local yeah. to where you are. And I would be absolutely shout out to Mel. Absolutely, I would absolutely be remiss not to give Mel's a shout out. They're always consistent. We're in Port Republic, Maryland. They're on Solomon's Island Road. Um, they got a couple of um, a couple of trucks out there. Not a huge big shop, but just a couple of trucks, and they're really putting it down big. As you can see, I mean, at this time of year, it is uh, we're what June, what 12th, 11th, or something. We're like mid June, and. Um, and these are all local crabs. These are from Maryland waters. And uh, <laughs> it's just not going to get any better than this, guys. As I speak to you, I'm just getting giddy. 
and really amped up. So you opened up another bag and you had about one about, quarter yeah. in the bag. Yep, yep, well, about a half, yep, a quarter of that bag. And as you can see, guys, there is no fire under the crabs yet. You want to wait until you're done so they'll cook evenly. Because if you start the fire, then the ones on the bottom are going to start to cook already. Uh -huh. And then by the time it gets to the top, they'll be overdone. So you don't want any fire under it until you're done. That's a good point, that's a good point. There it is, just top it off again and bam. And I didn't even have to do that, I just did it because, hey, because I'm having fun, that's why. So here it is. And now uh, where's our top? Bam! And, and and look at that. Bam, bam, bam. And as they cook, they'll start to settle even more and that top will seal. Some people put bricks and, and something and heavy object on them. And you know, I think our parents who were, were small, I think they had something rock or something on the pod or something. Brick. Yeah, some kind of brick on it. But as you can see, just know what you're doing and put them in by hand. That way you can place them a little bit more specifically and uh and you can distribute And as you can see they have set them down. They're not fighting, they're not crazy, they're not jumping out of the pot. Yeah. You see some videos where they're just trying to jump out of the pot and all over the place. We're experienced. People we, are yelling and screaming. I can't <laughs> emphasize enough that we know what we're doing here. So you want to get the fire on what, medium heat, high heat, what, low heat, what are you doing? Yeah, I'm going to get it on uh, the medium to high heat. Medium to high heat, you got that baby right in the middle. And you can see that flame jumping off. And uh, So you'll hear a little tink, tink, tink on a pot, of course, the crabs uh -huh. are trying to get out, but just have a beer. Yeah, <laughs> Don't be alarmed. <laughs> Just have a beer and relax. And how and long are you going to cook these? I'm going to let these go for like 25 and then I'm going to check them. I mean, it's a pretty big pot, but we got to cook it evenly. So 25 to 30 minutes, but usually at the 25 minute mark, I'll grab one out and test it and see what it's going, to see what's going on. And I'll let the other simmer, I'll let the other still cook while I'm testing that crab. And by the time I, I pop that back and check out, check out the texture, see what it looks like, and then that'll give me a really good gauge on what I have in the rest of the pot. Whether or not to shut off the, the fire, or let it go for a few more minutes. Where's my beer? Let's make a toast. Uh -huh, but that's pretty much uh, I'm going to let it go any more than that. So we're going to grab this beer here. And we're going to relax. Yeah. Sugar Cokes. And Jude. It's the brother here. Jen. There we go. That's the Good Times family and a fantastic weekend and a huge pot of lovely crabs. Thanks for checking it out. Peace! Hey, well, what's up? Here's part two. Welcome back. And um, so we had these crabs. They've been going for a good 27 minutes or so. What I'm going to do is just pop one out. As you can see, that beautiful red color. I mean, of course, that's what you're looking for. But is it, I see a little bit of spotty going on in here. You can see the, a little bit of discoloration right in there. So it just tells me that they need to go just a little bit more. But I'm going to pop this one out and we're going to do a taste test real quick. I'm going to go ahead and snap it back real quick. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to go ahead and leave it on. Because I can see that a couple of them need a little bit more time. So we'll put those off for a minute, maybe two. We have some onion here that I've oh, yeah, seasoned in fact, a little bourbon smoked pepper and bourbon smoked salt and, and uh, as you can see that Maryland crab and um, now because I have the crabs on I'm not going to break the, the legs off just yet but you can see this is a male crab as you can see the narrow apron here and um, I really don't need the knife but I'm just doing it just because I have it near me but I'm just going to flip that crab over and it's kind of hot and I'm going to go ahead and snap that back right off and I, I, I kind of like what I'm seeing uh-huh, I like it. That's actually crab crab brain, which is a delicacy in Asia. It indeed it is. I mean, and this here is the uh, the devil. The lungs. Uh -huh. <laughs> it's the devil. We were taught it was the devil when we were growing up. <laughs> and what you want to do is you want to peel that on back. Get all that back, and I mean this is fantastic. And I want to, you don't want to disturb that because it absolutely is delicious. So this crab, as you can see, is smoking, and I'm gonna go ahead and snap it in half and again it is hot piping hot what I'm gonna do is go ahead and 
and just reach at that back fin, which is right here at that little tiny leg. I'm just gonna kinda, you know, like the way that claw came off. I'm just gonna break that apart. I'm gonna just kinda separate it, just to expose that. And uh, there it is, that looks pretty good. I really like what I'm seeing here. See that meat? Really nice, firm. That's beautiful. And um, as I peeled this crab, you know, they've been on for a couple of minutes as I was working with this, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn this pot off. I like what I see. And um, just gonna go ahead and sample a little bit of that, that delicate brain matter. That is absolutely, that's exquisite, folks. That is good stuff. And uh, I'm just gonna break this little piece off. I mean, what we're looking at. Do I get any or no? Yes, ma'am. <laughs> it's uh, a chef sample there. Bam, so we're gonna break that apart. We're gonna get that nice little piece off there and, and hand, it the the, hand it to the camera lady. What do you think of that? Oh my gosh. Mm -mm. That, that's pretty good. So that's what we call a chef sample when you get something out a little bit early and um, you just kind of taste test it just to see where you are in the process so that you know whether or not you have to pull it off and early. And what we do is dip it on a shell to get some more seasoning uh -huh. if you well, want. That. And yeah, dip it, good. rub it on a shell. Uh -huh. While we're doing that, what I'll do is uh, get a little claw opening situation here. And uh, if this is hot, we'll see how it goes. But what you want to do, go right by the teeth here, and you take that knife, and usually a butter knife, and with a mallet, you want to kind of tap that with the mallet when you use the fork. Bam, just sever it right there, just enough to Get that going. And then you pull that out. Uh, and that is what you have there. And that's how you open the claw. And you just pass that right to the camera lady. And um I'm gonna dip it in the mustard. Oh, oh how about that? And um, I mean that's 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 how it goes. Uh, that is something. Get that pot. We're about to feast. Yeah, we're about to feast. I mean, this is Maryland style. Again, uh, this place is Mel's Crabs. We get them live from Mel's. I wish there was smell o vision here. Oh my God. If it were, you would be in tears right now. I mean, just look at that. I mean, that's a, that's a number one. That's. That's a, actually, that's a bigger than a number one. There are number ones and then there are jumbos. That's a jumbo right there. And, um, you know, that's how we do it in the summertime. When the weather gets warm, family, friends, weekend, good times. Just unwinding and just, um, just getting together and enjoying life here in Maryland. And, uh, I mean, this is how we do it Friday night. Happy Friday to everybody who's watching. And, um, we got some corn here, in fact. Happy so, Fourth of July. Yeah, family here, babe. We got some local Maryland corn, too. That's some Maryland local corn. This actually this came from a, from a, a, um, a produce stand. And this is a, a locally grown watermelon, also from a produce stand. And some local trout. Yeah, some local trout, too. I mean, you know, we have a full bounty of all kinds of uh, goodness from the earth. And uh, we treat it well, and we eat it well. So, you know. We'll see you in a couple. Absolutely. We're about to feast. Because, uh, you know, we, as you can see, we have things to do. And uh, thanks again. And um, thanks. We'll, maybe we'll let you see our belly swell when it's all said and done. Expose that corn. <laughs> yeah. Let's uh, get a little piece of that. There it is. That's a locally grown, a locally grown Maryland corn. And um, as it as it uh, steams up, those kernels will get nice and plump and 
really big and uh, my god. That's, that's really, so sweet, you can bite it and eat it raw. Yeah, you can eat this raw. You can absolutely eat this raw. You get that nice silvery color there. And um, I mean, that's just uh, just a really nice uh, piece of corn. You can see there's uh, the imperfections there as you go all the way. Can you see, you hear how tight it is when uh -huh. he pulls it, that means that corn is fresh. That corn is absolutely fresh. When it's fresh. squeaky, it's fresh. That corn was handled with exactly. love. That's a piece of corn that was grown with love. And you best believe it will be eaten with it in the same spirit. Alright, so see you back. Peace! Fish I'm about to fry in Louisiana. There it is, there it is. Fish seasoning. You see the oil there heating up. And I think you got before that oil gets really, really hot with the fish. Here's what we're gonna do. Right this way, folks. There's something else going on right here, right now. Let's go. He's drunk, guys. See that? Right outside. Oh shit. Alright, he roused the corner. I wish that you could see this view, it's amazing. There's a lake, but it's too dark. Outside. Right here, right here. Pop that for the local real quick. And then it's really got some chicken. Yeah, amazing. and I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna angle that chicken just like that because um, you can see that the two sides here are trying to char pretty good. So I'm just gonna get that other side going. You got to grow like that with these grooves. You really have to make use of them when you're dealing with the, the drumsticks because you want those to cook very evenly. And with grooves, you can get that balance, which I'm struggling with now. And I think that, uh, yeah, uh -huh, there you go. All right, there you go, folks. And this is done. And you got that one a really good char on it. And we're just going to angle that one too. And we're going to kind of lean that one right up against him. And right up in here, you got corn. And this corn has been marinated with a crazy situation. As you can see, that, that looks, looks really good. And it's got this uh, really good marinade on it. It's just mayonnaise, manchego cheese, lime juice. Doing wonderful, Smoked wonderful. Paprika. And that's all right, that's really and what you want to see. And we're going to leave this corn on for another maybe, I'm talking like 20 seconds. Like uh, 30 seconds with that corn. And we're just going to leave these a little bit longer. And, and it smells amazing. Be, oh my god, it could smell this corn. Kind of lean that one forth on my beer. So a little bit of char on. Oh boy. Yeah, look at that nugget under there. Just a little bit of caramelling, slightly. And that is exactly why. Alright folks, so hey, welcome back. I mean, you've seen us before. You know what's taking place here on a Friday night. And what I'm gonna do is ask the camera, the lovely camera lady, to pan right to my right. And uh, as you can see, we got some fish. Some fried up rainbow trout. No, excuse me, not rainbow, but a really good trout. We've got some uh, some crazy avocado situations that were you saw. If you were lucky, you saw how they were made. And you gotta take a look at this corn. And you can see we got it to it. Look at those big fat kernels. And you can see how well this corn turned out on the grill. I mean, we just can't wait to get into that all caramelized and just beautifully cooked. Um, these are freshly grown tomatoes from my personal garden. Plucked those uh, a couple of days ago and they've been ready on the windowsill. And um, as you can see, they're absolutely delectable and completely organic. And to the left of those tomatoes, you got yourself some broiled onions. And uh, that uh, spring onion here that was broiled, and some olive oil. Local and, onion. Huh? Local onion. A local onion. A local onion. And, and then over here, just above that, you got yourself some grilled chicken, uh, some drumsticks. Pardon me. These are, these are grilled, I mean, perfectly char on that, and they're crispy as out of all get out. As I hold this in my hand, you can probably see the smoke just coming out of that thing. But these are absolutely cooked perfectly and crispy and they're moist and crazy delicious. Here, folks, you have some fresh roasted peanuts. 
these peanuts uh, were fresh roasted. I mean, if we got them raw, uh, you saw the sack that they came in. And uh, here they are, They're roasted up, ready to roll. And I've had, we've had plenty of them. They're absolutely delicious. There it is. That is the bush. Thank you, Jen. Good job there. Those nuts were raw. We put them in the oven, put them in perfection. And here they sit before you. Now, we're gonna pan down and we're gonna sit, we're gonna kind of say the best class. We're gonna go right the corn. Yeah, I've already talked about the corn. Why? Because I wanted to save the absolute best for last. And you know what that is, folks. It's these delicious big red Maryland crabs that were once blue. And now they're just crazy red. And you can see the claws and see that apron off of those succulent sweet blues from Maryland Chesapeake Bay. And you must believe that this is absolutely as good as it gets. You see the seasoning here? I mean, these are jumbo crabs, and they're absolutely gonna be good. You saw me break up at once, you saw me crack open a couple of claws, pass it out. Your face to show how big they are. <laughs> <laughs> uh -huh. Look, if these were earrings, this is what we would be looking at, huh? Huh? How would you like a pair of Almost those, the huh? Size of your head. Now this is what a Baltimore is trick. Uh, you wanna, you wanna, you wanna show your Maryland girl a good anniversary? Get a pair of crab earrings, huh? For anniversary, get a pair of these, buddy. <laughs> and there you go, <laughs> nice and red, huh? Get your wife a pair of red earrings, <laughs> Maryland style, <laughs> on your anniversary. She'll love you for life. <laughs> so that's how we do it here, and that's how we're certainly gonna do it tonight. And uh, you know, before we get into it, because we're all about getting into it, we're gonna go ahead and kick this off with the opening of three brews here. As I make past a, a trusty uh, bun opener from the little camera lady who's done a fantastic job all night. I'm gonna pop the first of these beers. First, uh, first of these imports. I'm gonna pass that to the lady here, to Jen. The Jen to my dream, there she is, baby. Enjoy that beer. And to the next one, we're gonna pass to the wrong camera lady. Bam! All of these beautifully imported brews. And at last but not at all least, <laughs> there's no secret as to who this one's going to, is there? But hey guys, thank you for enjoying this. Enjoy what you do in the summertime. And uh, we're going to kick back and do a lot of what we've been doing and the fact we're going to consume all this. Thanks for watching. Peace! Delicious. Absolutely delicious. Peace!